made it to the lower Calf Creek Falls trailhead. Yep. You can go check it out. It's a little longer trail, but it follows the river, so it shouldn't be as strenuous as that last one. Oh, yeah, that last one. And it looks like we got a little bit of a shade. For a half a minute. For a minute. Busy trail, a lot of cars on the a lot of parking lots full. We had to park up the road a little bit. Probably four Utah cars and the rest. 50 non-Utah cars. Non-Utah cars. <laughs> All right, so don't cross the river because the trail's here on the left. There you can see where everyone's from. Nevada, Iowa, Washington, Illinois. From all over. Yeah. Right here. And for you dog owners. So, truck said it was 68 degrees. Feels like 90. Feels like 90. It's like virtually no humidity. Just dry, hot trail. It's pretty walking down through this. Mm -hmm. A little drainage though. I'm glad we did the upper Calf Creek Falls Trail in the morning. Oh my gosh. And not in the summer. Because holy crap. <laughs> I couldn't imagine going up that hill in the summertime. Because it was bad enough at 60 degrees. It was steep and hot. Look there, we got some flowers. Got those ones and those ones and these ones all together. You see more? Oh wow, look at all the prickly pear cactus too. Oh, they even have a flower on them too. Or the fruit. Check that out right there. That's pretty cool. Yep, there's a piece of fruit. There's some more of that. That's cool. Look at these views. Pretty down here. Wow, look at the colors on that. That's pretty cool. It's got to be one of the tallest sagebrushes I've seen. That's like a sagebrush tree. You're now entering the sagebrush tree forest. Man, these things are big. Huh. Wow, the views of this canyon impress. Holy cow, look at that. Falls or no falls, this trail sure is pretty. Wow, look at that. Look at those colors. Must be hot because the chapstick melted all over my face. <laughs> it's like, well, I guess we're gonna spread it on in my fingers. Hmm. All right then, that was cool. If I can catch him, that guy that just ran by us was on the alone show. <laughs> Let's see if we can see him. Where'd he go? Did he take off? Man, he's fast. Where'd he go? Yeah, there he is. Awesome. Yeah, he was on the Alone Show. That's crazy. What's the chances? He's the guy that had all the fish saved up on the Panagodia one and he got pulled for starvation anyway that's pretty cool i can't remember his name but 
That's really cool to see him on the trail. Yeah, so Christy recognized that guy right off the bat. He was on the Alone Show. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I went running down the trail after him, but he's moving. So, oh well. Huh. I knew he was from down southern Utah way. So this is like his home territory. Anyway, that was really cool. Well, I'm going to find the old Alone Show, and I'll take a picture of him, put him in the video. Hello. Anyway, it's funny how people are all masking up and stuff. God, we're outside in the middle of fresh air. What the heck? Great right, interpretive note number five says there's some ancient Indian uh, granaries up in the cliff line. But wow, they're hard to see, but I think I see one right here. There. Wow. wow. I'm zoomed into the max. That's. Oh, okay, there's even some more right up there. They're all in that red band. Right up in that red band right up there. The views on this trail mm -hmm. just keep amazing. I mean, all the way around. I just came to interpretive sign number eight, and uh, right up in that cliff face there are some pictographs, the painted, painted uh, people figures there, right at the base of the cliff, right there. I zoom in and get a picture. All right, hiking in the shade. How awesome is that? Shade of that big mountain right there. Hey, look at that. You can tell these are willows just by the way they are. This sure is a pretty, pretty trail. You got the colors down below. All right, there's that pond that the beavers are making. I don't see the beaver dam, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Now look at all the water down in here. There's your beaver dam right there. Huh. That's really pretty. Some fish down in there. Right there. That's cool. Now look at that little alcove up in there. swimming along there.
must be getting close. Christy says she can hear it. Yep. She's my ears because I'm deaf. I can see it. And I can finally hear it. Oh, check that out. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Okay. I can see why it's popular. Holy cow, that is beautiful. <laughs> Is it cold? <laughs> Your feet numb? No. How long they last? Everybody that's been getting in is getting right back out. Because it's cold. Well, okay, we had a nice relaxing lunch at the falls. So beautiful. And yeah, very beautiful. Boy, there's only like three or four people when we got there, but there's probably, what, while we were having lunch, there's 20. like 20, 25 people now, so pretty popular. It's like the same place. Yeah. It's a pretty coloration right there. Sand, sand, and more. more sand. Three miles of sand. All right, we're in the shade again, hallelujah. It's pretty warm out here. And I think that this is at least a two liter and one Coke Zero per person trail because we've drank just about all of it. It's hot. And I'm seeing people on the trail with so not prepared. I mean, they got an empty water bottle in their back pocket and that's all they got and that's just not enough for a trail like this in the desert well, some people were smart enough to turn around and one guy mm -hmm. he looks like he's about passed out there at the falls because he's overheated I had to stop and dip my hat in the creek right there because, dang, that's warm. 
Well, all right, we made it back. Holy yep. crap. That was a day, I'll tell you. I think that cured me of wanting to hike any more today. I think Coke Zero is an air conditioning for me the rest of the day. Yeah. Dang. Way, way pretty. It's the super whole hike falls. Yeah, super pretty. But dang, it was hot. Yeah, it's just, it's really not that hot. I mean, it's only, what, 80 maybe? Oops, and, uh, but when that sun's beating off those rocks, it's like in an oven. Yep. Makes it hotter. Anyway, I don't know what the water is. we're almost to the truck. I'll turn the AC on, get a cold Coke Zero. And we'll reevaluate the rest of the day. It's about 2.30, almost 3, so I don't know. We'll see why the day takes us. Whew. Yeah, look at my tan line. No, it's called dirt line from that dirty sandy trail. Figured out why it's so freaking hot. Because it is. How hot is it? It's like really hot. <laughs> 